you how to use the uh, this new string grabber script that I wrote. Uh, can be very useful if you know about pointers. They're often pointing to strings. Sometimes you can change items, change rewards, etc. Or just learn what nearby values are related to uh, by finding and looking at those strings or swapping pointers to those strings. But anyway, uh, these two items I got selected are, uh, are pointers to strings. If you long press on a pointer, you press go to pointer. Up here on the right, have uh, string representation checked. So you can see the words right here. From, from this value down to this value. It says rifle AK-47 magazine double. Okay. So anyway... That's what pointers are, and pointers to text strings in particular. Now I'm going to start the script. Alright, first I'm going to show you, uh, I'm actually going to show you getting strings with a substring first. Select the range you want to search. Search for the string AK-47. Alright. First, we're actually going to go back to this menu several times. UTF-16. Uh, go here. Go back to the string. The way you can tell if the string is UTF-16 instead of UTF-8 is... See here between the R and the I, yeah, there's a period. Uh, UTF-16 strings have a character, a period, a character, a period. Well, it appears to be a period at least. But just for simplicity's sake, there's a period between each letter with UTF-16. So if you look at a string in the game and it's got a period between each letter, then when we are uh, going to this menu here, we're going to select UTF-16. Uh, if you want your results saved to the save list as well as a file, check that. Uh, also do that if you're going to be looking for nearby strings. Uh, otherwise, you won't be able to. Alright. Offset from pointed value to character count. Uh, pointed to value to character count. So, we followed the pointer. That's where it brought us. This right here, this 26D, D word, is the number of characters in the string. So that's the character count. So the offset from these two, so one line would be four. Two lines would be eight. Three lines would be 12. So four bytes per line. So, the offset here to the character count is 8. Go back to the menu again. So, the uh, bottom one, offset from character count to first character. So, that's the character count. That's first character. One line, four bytes. So the offset is 4. So you may or may not need to adjust this, but before saying it's not working right, make sure you take a close look at a string that you found in the game and you got your settings set right. Because if the settings aren't correct, no, it won't work right. All right. So now that I've explained those, we're actually going to do the search. Now this is a substring search. This will find all of the value, all of the strings in memory that have AK-47 in this case as a substring. Uh, these values are all correct now. Press OK. All right. 
it, and it is grabbing the text strings that it finds. It'll take a little bit of time to grab the strings. And you can look through the results as it's searching to uh, occupy yourself. Or just go to another tab. Uh, it'll go a little faster sometimes, not always. As you can see, there's less results added to the save list uh, than have been checked because it's only adding results that could be uh, pointed to strings to the save list. If it's if it doesn't have uh, like a character count in front of it, uh, it is skipping it basically. Double check and make sure each of these has got a pointer pointing to it. Alright. There were just a few. Alright, so you can you could select all if you all of them if you wanted to, but you know it'll take a lot of time. If you do go select in all of them, I suggest you uh you use the option I'll show you here. So now you can see there's two new menu items. There's a find nearby pointed to strings and there's copy string data. Copy string data at this stage we're at would just copy each of these names uh, to your clipboard and also to a file uh, in your download folder. But I will show you that just in a few. First we're going to do find nearby pointed to strings. So range it says one equals four bytes so basically how many lines away from this this uh, pointer do you want to look for other pointers depth is uh, how many pointers do you want to follow that are near it to find uh, to find other pointers uh, that that are pointing text strings so for depth I mean you can select whatever you want really takes a little bit longer the more you select uh, depth off offset so <clears throat> like the offset from uh, the pointed to value to the character count this is the offset from the pointed to value to the pointer you're gonna check uh, below it so in this case it's 8 I'll show you when once we get some results for clarity uh, pause to copy uh, I'm going to enable that it's leave it set at 100 every every 100 it gets it will give me an option to copy some values if I want or to stop uh, stop pausing so there we go and let's see it's not moving I think that means there popping up down here so here's some results uh, each set of results will have a different uh, little emoji or character, so you can easily tell where one set stops and the next begins. This one's all by itself, so it's pretty easy to tell. But I am gonna wait just a minute. Oh, I didn't even didn't even need to pause it. All right, so these are our results we got. You see here. Where it says depth one. So over here, depth one means it did not find a text string by following this pointer, but it went down 
So the offset we set, which was 8, right? 4, 8. Followed this pointer, and here we have a string. So, <clears throat> we'll go back. Oopsie, wrong button. Back. And then, uh, in those results is also going to be a result for this one right above it. Go to that pointer, and there's a string there as well. Let's see. 608, 60C. So oftentimes, when you find a pointer to one item, and then there is a pointer below it, and, uh, and a chain of pointers going to something else, they can be related. Oftentimes, they're not related, but yeah, this will give you the names of those different, uh, different strings, and you can kind of deduce if they are related to each other or not. Um, once you have some of these selected, if you want to copy string data, it'll copy all, all of the selected items. Uh, those are all the items that we selected before this, because I didn't unselect any of them. And then there's some more detailed data. Uh, so this is a file uh, that it copies the information you copied to as well. Uh, It'll be the uh, name of the uh, of the uh, target package, and then uh, string this clipboard. I'm gonna let it reload. Let's see what I copied there, and then also in your download folder, you will have the uh, substring search results. All right. Let's see. Clear my results. Go back here. Uh, get strings below character count. So I showed you the character count. This will find all strings that have a character count in front of them. Um, min uh, I got to put minimum there, but anyways, minimum string length, maximum string length. Set those to your desired values. We know this game uses UTF-16. Um, I know it uses a lot of underscores and names. Uh, if you want it to get strings with all different kinds of symbols, you can check that. Uh, if you want it to get strings that only start with a certain type of character, I'll do lowercase here. Um, and again, save pointed to, to the list. If you want to search for nearby values, or anything like that. Uh, we already covered the offset from pointed value to character count and offset from character count to first string. Those are set right. Hit pause to copy just in case this is set to every thousand uh, that it retrieves. This is a, uh, we're, we're not going to go through the whole, whole process here. This is a very time-consuming process. Uh, I would recommend you run it, like, when you're going to sleep or something. You know, wake up in the morning, it's done. You're not sitting there waiting for it to finish, because it, it, it will take a while, uh, especially if you don't, uh, if you include everything, uh, like special characters, uh, or you don't filter what it starts with. All right. I, I really shouldn't have said it for a thousand even. Uh, but anyways, the other option uh, was an exact uh, search. So you need to know exactly what the search is for that. Uh, 
lowercase letters, it's case sensitive, it has to be exactly whatever you're searching for. Obviously, you don't have to enter the, uh, the periods you see on the UCS string, you just enter exactly what the string is, uh, and it will get all results for that, and that's useful for when you, you know what you want to find uh, related values for. So then you can find all, all the nearby strings that are, that are pointed to uh, near the pointers for for that exact search. But as you can see, all kinds of stuff pops up. There's many possibilities, uh, things from item names to store, uh, things like uh, free price in the store. It doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna make something free immediately. Don't get discouraged though. Uh, do some experiment and you may figure some stuff out. But uh, I think that actually pretty much covers it. Uh, once this search finishes, you'll be able to do the same thing I did with a substring search and search for nearby strings. Uh, again, same for the exact search and uh, and the, and uh, this search will copy uh, the results to a different file, which I don't care if it crashes now. So I will just go ahead and show you that was a substring search before and now we have strings count above and this is this is the current uh list if you even go back it's changed a few new items added to it but that is my string grabber uh some people might not see how it's useful but you have not learned enough about uh, memory hacking yet, if that's the case, <laughs> because it can be very useful. You just got to figure out exactly what to do with it, guys. All right. Have a good one, everybody.